Do you know that you can rewire your brain? Well, that's possible with neuroplasticity. So, in this video, we're gonna discuss about neuroplasticity. Okay, hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Tech and Bio. Rewiring your brain. Hmm, well, that's interesting. When you query this term on Google, you will find various suggestions like rewire your brain to be happy in 21 days, books, rewire your brain quotes, rewire your brain in 21 days. Well, there's a book too written by John B. Arden, Rewire Your Brain, Think Your Way to a Better Life. Well, what does it mean? Rewiring your brain refers to the concept of neuroplasticity. That means you can change your brain chemically, structurally and functionally. Well, the key to this whole concept is neuroplasticity. Today, neuroplasticity has become a buzz. Many motivational speakers, self-help gurus, educationists and writers uses the phrase rewire your brain very often to influence people to have a better life. Neuroplasticity, also known as neural plasticity or brain plasticity, is the ability of neural networks in the brain to change through growth and reorganization. Neuroplasticity is although a new discovery, but it has been known for over more than 200 years. It began in the early 1780s where a researcher took a pair of dogs and pair of birds from which he trained one of them. Then he studied the brain of pair of trained dog and bird versus the untrained ones. The results were intriguing. He claimed that the cerebellum of the brain of the trained ones were found to be larger than the untrained ones. Later on, some researchers claimed that the brain de development could be stimulated by exercise and education. Well, there are some myths regarding our brain. Myth number one, our brain only grows during our childhood. Its growth stops afterwards. But the truth is, every time you learn something new, whether it's a fact or skill or a motor skill, you can change your brain. Myth number two, we only use certain parts of our brain and when you do nothing, it's silent. It's completely silent. But the truth is, your brain is highly active even when you are not thinking. Myth number three, after puberty, the changes in the brain are only negative. But the truth is quite different. Your brain growth depends on your behavior. Myth number four, we are born with certain number of brain cells. Once damaged or injured, cannot be restored or fixed but the truth is brain reorganization helps you support your recovery after you damage your brain well this were the myths we hear very often you know what's interesting researchers have shown that all our behaviors change our brain and these changes are not limited by age or aging but yeah they do take time well how do we change our brain? We can change or reorganize our brain by learning or practicing new skills or motor skills. To support learning, our brain changes in three ways. Chemically, structurally, functionally. Speaking about chemicals, our brain functions by transferring chemical signals between neurons that we call brain cells and triggered a series of actions and reactions. So to support learning, brain increases the amount or the concentrations of this chemical signaling taking place between neurons. This helps in short-term memory or the short-term improvement. Well, this change occurs very rapidly. Talking about structure, during learning, the brain can change the connections between neurons. This lead to change in physical structure of the brain and it takes a bit more time. This leads to long-term improvement or the long-term memory. 
Suppose you start learning a new skill, let's say playing guitar, and you practice it for a day, for several times, and you improved in each practice you do that particular day, and you think you got it, but the next day when you return, you don't do it very well as you did the day before. The improvements are gone. So, what's the reason behind that? It was the short term improvement. Short term does not reflect learning. You need to practice it a lot. Long term needs time. Structural changes also lead to integrated networks of brain regions that function together to support learning. Moving ahead to functional, when you use a brain region, it becomes more and more excitable and easy to use again as there is shifting in your brain. So, neuroplasticity is supported by chemical, structural and functional changes to support learning. Here comes the question, what fascinates neuroplasticity? Well, the best driver of neuroplastic change in your brain is your behavior. But we need larger doses of practice to learn new motor skills and relearn old motor skills. You can enhance your learning by changing your level of difficulty from basic to hard level. Well, the changes in your brain can be both positive and negative. Positive changes lead to learning and refining as you practice. Well, negative changes lead to memory loss. Suppose you got addicted to drugs. And in case if you are wondering if there is any neuroplastic drug, the answer is no. There is no neuroplastic drug that you can take. Nothing is more effective than practice. And there is no recipe for learning. So you need to keep practicing and keep learning. There is a popular belief it takes 10,000 hours of practice to learn and master a new motor skill. So this was all about neuroplasticity. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you.